Hello, this is Rob Colvin for 2D Design. For this assignment, we are focusing on repetition. Remember, repetition helps create unity, rhythm, movement, pattern, consistency, and order. We will focus on pattern for this assignment. So the first thing we want to do is go up to File and click New or Command N or Control N on your PC. Want this file to be in inches, three by three inches, 150 pixels an inch. And we want our background to be white. Let's click Create. Next thing we want to do is click our text tool or letter T on your keyboard. Go over to your image and click on it. Choose a letter. I have chosen the letter M. So you want to choose your move tool manually because remember the shortcut was V for the move tool, but if you press V, you get a letter V instead. So you want to choose the move tool manually. One thing you want to make sure is on is your smart guide or smart guide. So go up to view. Go down to the word show and go down to smart guides. You want to have that checked. Smart guides will help you center your, your shapes, your objects, your letters. So you see as I move that around, I get uh, those lines. Yours might be a different color. I've selected, I preference mine to be that pink color because I like it better than the blue which is the default so with the move tool I can move my letter around and position it the smart guide lines are there to help me center it if I want I'm gonna put the text tool next to my letter click and drag it selects the letter this will allow me to change its size and color Remember up here at the top of the window, we have our properties for the current tool selected. Right now, we have the text tool selected. So what the properties do is allow us to align things center, left or right. So up here, we can also change the size of our text. I'm going to change this to 200 point. Now I want to change my font style, so I go up to this window and Properties, scroll down and click and select the font that I would like. I'm going to make this a capital instead of a lowercase. Okay, I got a letter M. I'm going over to the Move tool because remember, if I press V for Move tool, I get a letter and don't get the Move tool. Let's click on the move tool and now I can center that align it the way I want okay now I want to go over to my layer where it's a text layer and I'm going to right click on that so I'll go down to rasterize type and click on that that will rasterize that layer it's no longer a vector layer now that it is rasterized i will duplicate the letter m there and an easy way to do that is press option on your mac or alt on your pc and you get the double arrows see how that changes when i press alt or option then i click on that and drag and it will duplicate that layer. So now I have two M's. I'll use my directional arrows to nudge the letter over to line them up. That will uh, make it easier than trying to use the move tool. I'm going to merge these two layers together. Command E, E is an elbow, or Control E on your PC will merge two layers together. So what happens, let's step back. 
that top layer has the bottom layer merge into it. It's always the bottom, the underneath layer merging into the top layer, Command E or Control E on your PC. Now I will go over to my text tool. I will click in the center and now I have a new text layer over the top of my rasterized layer with the two letter M's. Now one is a vector layer, the text is still a vector, and the other is a raster. And now I've chosen the letter O, and I'm going to play with it. See what size I like it. Uh, maybe it's too big. I don't know. Let's try 150. And click the Move tool. And I can move it to where I want. I like it there. That looks good. I'm liking how this looks. Now I want to copy that O. First I'll rasterize it. So right click, down to rasterize type. Now I've rasterized that layer. If I do command J, I get a copy of that layer as well. So it's right on top of the one that's there. I can grab it and move it over. You remember if I did, if I pressed Option or Alt on my PC and drag, I get a copy as well. See how the smart guidelines help me to align things and it guides me to know distances. I'm going to merge the three layers with the letter O. Click on the top one. Then I'll press shift, click on the bottom one, and select all three. And once they're all three selected, I can do command E or control E and merge them into one layer. So I'm looking at this design and I'm thinking I want to fill up the empty spaces there. On the two sides of the letter M, so I am going to go over and choose my text tool again. Letter T on your keyboard for your shortcut. I will click in the middle. And I can choose the letter C if I want, which I think I want. So I'm going to move that by clicking on the Move tool, grabbing it and moving it over. Placing it where I want. Now I'm going to rasterize that by right clicking. Then click on rasterize type. Now I have a rasterized layer. I will copy by command J and move it. Now I'm going to merge those into one layer. Command E will merge the bottom into the top. So, once they're merged, I'm going to center them. And I want to fill up the other side with the same image. So I'm going to copy that layer, Command J. Now I'm going to edit, and I'm going to transform it horizontally. So I will flip it horizontally so it matches the other side in a symmetrical way. Now I can grab it with the Move tool and move it over. Look how the Smart Guide lines tell me I have things lined up on the top and bottom and I have it the same distance from the M as the other one on the other side. Very helpful guide. I'm thinking I want to save it now. I'm going to go to File and click Save As. I'll save it as M Pattern. 
and once I get that typed in I want to save it as a PSD a Photoshop file so click Save okay now I want to merge my text layers together so I'll click on the top or bottom and click shift and click on the top or bottom and do command E so you have all selected and command E will merge all the layers into one. I'm going to add color to this now. So first of all, why don't I choose a color from my background. Go over and pad, grab the paint bucket and if I filled it with the paint bucket right now, it would be that blue that is selected. If I can step back, Command Z, remember, or Control Z, and if I don't like that. So why don't I choose a color? And now, I'm thinking I want to make my text layer a color. So in order to select your text layer, you want to make sure your text layer is the layer you're on. Press Command on your Mac or Control on your PC, and you'll click right on the window here. Once you click on that window, all of that layer is selected and now you can fill that with color. So go up to edit and down to fill. Choose a color. I think I like that color. Let's click OK. There you see I have that filled with that yellow so if I do command D, it will deselect or control D on your PC. I think I want some other colors in here. So in this layer, I will choose this section and press shift, and I can choose these two sections. And I'll choose those. Then I want to go back to my background layer because I want to fill that layer, not this layer, with in those shapes. So I'll go to Edit, Fill, choose a color. And I'll click OK. I don't like that. So Command Z to step backwards. I'll do Edit and fill again. Choose a color. So Command D or deselect. So there I have a pattern that I want to repeat. So right now I want to merge these two layers together. If I click on the top layer, do Command E, they merge into one. So now I'm going to save it. So click File, Save As. This time I'm not going to save it as a PSD because it does not have layers. So I want to save it as a JPEG. So I'll go down to JPEG, click Save, OK. Now we want to do Command J or Control J on your PC, and we have a duplicate layer from our background. Now go up to Image and to Canvas Size, or you can click Option Command C or Alt Control C on your PC to get your canvas window up here. Now we have a canvas window. Click on this corner here 
and we are going to double it. So click six and six. Then we'll click OK. And we have a bigger window in which to expand our pattern. So go over to your move tool, select your move tool, grab that layer that you copied, and we'll move it over. See, we have a matching pattern. Now we're going to grab this layer, click Alt or Option on, on your Mac, Alt on your PC. Look, we don't have a match, so we go up to Edit, down to Transform. We will click on Flip vertically, and we have a match. So press Option and grab this layer or Alt on your PC and pull it over. And now we have a repeating pattern beginning to take shape. So we want to merge all these layers. So press Shift, click on the bottom, Command E or Control E, and you have just merged them all together. So now we want to repeat what we just did. Do Command J or Control J. Option Command C or Alt Control C. Press on the corner here, click on the corner. Now we want it to be 12. One, two, one, two, click OK. Click our zoom tool, zoom down. Press V for our move tool. Move this over here. This time we're not gonna have to flip things. Press Option or Alt and move, and we've copied that layer, line them up. Press Option or Alt again, copy that layer, and move it over. Now we have a complete repeated pattern. We want to merge all three, all four layers. So we have that one selected. Press Shift, click on the bottom. Command E, we'll merge them all. And now we want to save them, so go to File, Save As, M Pattern. We've already got a JPEG called that, so we'll, let's do full version. So just full if you want, and save. We want to save it as a maximum file, so click OK. And there we have a complete pattern for the assignment.